see Peter McKinnon locking focus using his daughter's teddy. What's up everyone, in this video we're going to make a splash screen for your Squarespace website. So we're going to be doing a couple of things to make this. First of all we're going to be using Lottie animations on the page so we need to set up the Lottie player. I've also got a more in depth video about Lottie animations which I'll link below. Then we're going to build the splash screen before styling it with CSS. And then later on in the video we'll take a look at some customizations that we can make to the timing and direction that it leaves the screen. So let's get started. So first I'm going to grab the Lottie player CDM from the comment section below. So we'll take a copy, and then over in Squarespace we'll head over to the site-wide code injection. And in the header section we'll paste the script. On a new line, making sure we don't interfere with any of the pre-existing stuff, we'll put our div, so we'll go left angle bracket, div, class equals, quotation mark, and we're going to call this splash wrapper, so splash hyphen wrapper. Another quotation mark and a right angle bracket. And then inside the wrapper is where we're going to put the content of the splash screen. I'm going to have the animation and a bit of text underneath, but you can have it the other way around or have no text, it's entirely up to you. Next I'll add the Lottie player, so again the code for this is in the comments. We'll take a copy and then paste it onto a new line before the closing div tag. And then we'll head over to LottieFiles.com and grab an animation to use on the page. Once you've found an animation that you want to use, take a copy of the animation URL. And back over in Squarespace, we'll paste the URL between the quotation marks of the player source URL. And then underneath the player, I'll add some heading tags for our text. So outside of the Lottie player, but again before the closing div tag, we'll go left angle bracket, h2 right angle bracket. And then between these tags, we'll put our text. And then completely optional this one, I'm going to style the text to match a colour from the animation. To do that, just after h2 in the opening tag, we'll go style equals couple of quotation marks and then between the quotation marks we'll go color colon and then a color of your choice semicolon now if you wanted to have the text above the animation you put the text tags and everything in them above the lottie player but before the open and div tag but i'm just going to leave this here for now let's save our changes and we've completely broken the site but this is expected because we've just chucked a load of code into the header and haven't styled it. So we'll head over to our CSS editor. Okay, this CSS that we're going to put in now, we're going to have to move this later on to speed up its loading. But for now, we're just going to use the CSS editor to visually see what's going on as we put the code in. So to start off, we need to reference the splash container. So we'll go dot splash hyphen wrapper curly brackets and I want to fix the screen over the top of the website so we'll go position colon fixed semicolon now at this point you might see your animation on top or it might be buried behind the content or you might just see the nav bar so we need to bring the screen forward using z index or as we call it in the UK z index so we'll go z hyphen index colon and we'll put a massive number in here so we'll go 9999 semicolon We'll give our div a background colour, so background hyphen colour. And you can put any colour in here, I'm just going to go with a light grey. Semicolon. And then we'll set the size of the screen, so we'll go height, colon, 100vh, which refers to the viewport height, semicolon. And then width, colon, 100vw which refers to a popular brand of German, and also viewport width, semicolon. Okay, it's starting to take shape, but it looks rubbish with everything stuck up in the top left corner, so I'm going to move it all to the middle of the screen. To do that, we'll go display, colon, flex, semicolon, flex hyphen, flow, colon, column, space, no wrap, semicolon, justify hyphen, content, colon center semicolon and finally align hyphen items colon center semicolon and if that hasn't sent you to sleep we still need to set up the animation to tell the splash container to politely go away after a set amount of time to do that we'll set an animation name so we'll go animation hyphen name colon slide out semicolon Animation 
hyphen fill hyphen mode colon. Forwards semicolon. And then we'll set some animation times, but these can be adjusted later on. So we'll go animation hyphen duration colon 2s semicolon. And then animation hyphen delay colon 4s semicolon. Okay, next is to add a couple of keyframes to make the screen move out of the viewport. So we'll go at keyframes, slide out, make sure this matches exactly the animation name from above. Curly brackets, and then between these curly brackets we'll go from, more curly brackets, and then between these brackets we'll go margin hyphen left, colon zero VW, semicolon. I'm going to take a copy of this and paste it in below before the closing curly bracket. We'll change from to two. And margin left to minus 100 VW. And we'll save the changes, refresh the page and wait patiently for the animation to kick in. We've also got a few options for customising the time that it takes the div to leave the viewport and the direction that it leaves in as well. Let's start with the timing, in particular the animation duration. This is the amount of time it takes the div to complete the movement from start to finish. And you can adjust this up or down. Same with the animation delay, this is how long the div will stay on the screen before it starts moving. So let's change these up, we'll go 8 seconds on the animation duration and 2 seconds on the animation delay. Save and refresh. And you can see the animation kicks in after two seconds and takes forever to leave. Another option is to have the screen push out to the right. That takes a really complex set of calculations in the code, so you need to pay particular attention. You ready? Remove the minus. Done. Save and refresh again. And there we go. So it's all set up and ready, but you might notice sometimes, particularly on the live site, that the animation and text are briefly loaded in the top left corner and then switch to the middle. To fix that, we need the site to load the CSS straight away. So we'll highlight all of the CSS that we put in for the splash screen and take a copy of it. Now it's important that if you've got loads more CSS in here that you'd only grab what we've put in to style the splash screen. Then we'll delete it. Then we'll head back over to the site-wide code injection. Underneath the closing div tag, we'll put a couple of style tags. So we go left angle bracket, style right angle bracket, and then paste the CSS between these tags and save. So as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you're not already, consider subscribing to see more stuff like this. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.